react to blindly honestly and if you are new hello and welcome and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well and before I get started I ask you guys to please do me a huge favor please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well so we are still doing the 12 days of Christmas we are gonna be doing a little different this is not going to be a makeup look I do have a makeup look coming up on Friday that is this eyeshadow look so if you are interested keep your eyes peeled for Friday morning's video I almost said episode like this is my TV show hi welcome like yeah no <laughs> so I was tagged to do this tag by Miss Kelly T who if you guys do not know maybe you don't follow me on Twitter I announced on Twitter I recently lost my 1k subscribers I was at 1020 before Thanksgiving and YouTube felt it was okay to take them away from me. So I was down to 996, 997. Um, yeah, it kind of sucked. Miss Kelly T was so, so kind enough to give me a shout out video and because of her shout out video, I am back up over 1K. I am so, so grateful for her doing this. She is such a good friend. Thank you, Miss Kelly T, so much for helping me out. And to return the favor, I'm gonna do this tag for her. Um, I normally don't do a lot of tags. I have a tag playlist, but I, I think I've done like three. So this is something I'm really interested in seeing and doing. So this is the Take It Back Old School Tag. Okay, so let's get comfy. I got my sippy, which is just water, <laughs> nothing fancy. <laughs> and I got my vacular device. So we're just gonna chill, hang out, and have some fun and answer some questions, okay? Okay, so number one is name an old school song. Whether, oh, I need my glasses, hold on. I need my glasses because I'm blind. <laughs> okay, now I can see. <laughs> so name an old school song, whether it be hip hop, R&B, soul, funk, or rock that you listened to when you were younger. Um. So I'd have to say the song I listened to the most was probably Concrete Angels by The Used. Really, any song from The Used, I always had them playing in my CD player. The Taste of Ink, Blue and Yellow, yeah. <laughs> um, another one, because I was kind of like all over the place as a kid. I really, really loved Over and Over Again. I think it was by R. Kelly and Tim McGraw. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Tim McGraw and R. Kelly. Back in the day, that song was like, that was bumping back in the day. Like that song was what everybody was listening to. Like the country kids, the rock kids, everybody loved it. Um, yeah. So number two, <laughs> have you ever attended or frying a block or a house party? I don't know what frying a block, but a house party I've been to plenty quite a few and not very many when I was younger. I was kind of more of a recluse as a kid, but as an adult, now I've been to plenty of house parties. I think I went to one as a teenager back in high school and it just was not my jam. I was more of a recluse, like I said, so I didn't really, I don't even remember why I was invited. I think because my mom was the volleyball coach. That might have been the only reason why I was invited. <laughs> so number three, have you ever owned a cassette player, a Walkman, or record player? I owned a Walkman. I was born in 92, so I was given my sister's Walkman as a hand-me-down when I was probably six or seven, and I used that thing pretty religiously until I got my CD player. <laughs> what was your favorite corner, snor corner store snack or candy as a kid? I Okay, I used to love those little wax, um, sodas like there were little wax candy sodas and inside they had like a liquid and when you bit into it it was like you tasted the soda I don't remember what they're called and then another one was um nerd ropes yeah nerd ropes were amazing I also really really loved um Butterfinger Bits which if you don't know what the Butterfinger Bits are they were little round um Butterfinger 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 like pebbles and I just remember the box had Bart Simpson on him <laughs> so I loved them. <laughs> um, number five, what was your high school mascot? Um, okay, I went to a lot of different high schools, so let me remember. There was Mustang, Wildcats, Warriors, Jackrabbits, um, 
What was the last one? Uh, crap, what is that thing? That freaking bird that runs from Wile E. Coyote. The Roadrunners, the Roadrunners. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, when I lived in Georgia, we were the Bulldogs. Um, okay, number six. Name a show or shows you could not go without watching as a child. PB and J Otter, Roly Poly Oli, um, let me think, okay. Bear in the Big Blue House. And then as I got older, it was DuckTales, Aladdin, Brace Face. I freaking loved Brace Face. <laughs> um, as Told by Ginger, um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which by the way, if you have not watched the new Sabrina on Netflix, it is amazing. So good, so dark. It's I love it. It's so good. <laughs> um, let me think what else. I used to love Charmed and Angel. Um, what else was there? I never really got into Seventh Heaven or The Boy Meets World. Those were like more of my sister's type of shows. Yeah. Um, I remember vaguely, vaguely watching the Beetlejuice cartoon, and I don't remember if it was reruns or like the actual cartoon as it was airing, but I do remember sitting there and watching it, and then Scooby-Doo, Kids Next Door, Code Lyoko, um, Tales from the Crypt. There was so many Saturday morning TV shows I used to love and obsess watching. Number seven, have you ever used a payphone? Maybe like once or twice. I don't really remember really using it that much. Yeah. <laughs> um, what games as activities did you play with your neighborhood friends or cousins as a child? Um, we would play Red Rover, Red Rover. Tag. Um light as a feather and stiff as a board that was one of our favorites um so we used to do this really really weird game where and it's so stupid now as a kid so we would take like a thing of salt and we'd put a ring of salt around a table and put a cup in the middle and then we would all like ask if there is any spirits present and then we'd turn off the lights and leave the room and we, we would come back and if the cup had moved or the salt had moved it meant like a ghost was there I don't know I don't remember why we used to do that but it was like a regular pastime and then of course Bloody Mary <laughs> that was when we always did with Bloody Mary Bloody Mary um what else was there we used to love this game it was a board game and it was Paddington Bear but you were at a grocery store trying to get marmalade. It was the funnest game ever. I cannot find it anywhere now. I've looked online, I can't find it. But I don't I think it was called like Paddington's Adventure or something like that. I don't know, it, it, it's a fun game and it has a very, very deep, deep place in my heart. And I wish I could find it, but I've never been able to find it anywhere. Let's see, number nine. Who was your childhood best friend? Um. So my childhood best friend, her name is Quincy, and we actually still talk. Um, we mainly just talk through Pinterest. Yeah, um, so we grew up, when I first moved from Las Vegas, we moved here to California, and it was a very small town we first moved into, and you know, I didn't know anybody. She was the first person to ever like talk to me, hang out with me, I went to her house. We hung out every single day after school. Um, and we would walk to school together. It was like one of those lifelong bonds that never really breaks. And even though we've both kind of gone our separate ways and we've gotten older, she is now living all the way in New Jersey. I am still here in California. I never really made it that far. I'm probably about an hour and a half-ish away from where we grew up. But she is now living in New Jersey. We still talk. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't have a cell phone, so the only way we communicate is through Pinterest on the messaging on Pinterest. It sucks, but I really wish she was closer because, you know, she's one of my best friends and the longest friend I ever had. Let's see. Show a throwback picture of yourself. Oh, God. Okay. I will try to find a semi-decent picture of me younger. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so that's little old me. 
Uh, I'm not sure how old I am in this picture because I'm not sure which one I chose yet. So Future and Jen, I hope you picked a really good one because this can be embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah, that is it you guys. Um, let's see, who do I tag? I'm gonna tag Cryo Gaming, but you have to show your face, little man. You better show your face. Um, and I will also tag Gator Bites. And last but not least, I will tag Herman the Great. So Cryo Gaming, Gator Bites, and Herman the Great, you are next for the throw it back tag. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I'm going to get going and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.